welcome back to my channel today i'm here with a new video and today we will be trying out the new very valentino 24 hour wear hydrating concealer before we get started if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button all right y'all so let's jump right into today's video this concealer retails for $35. It's available in 20 shades. This is a multi-use, creamy, lightweight concealer that delivers a medium coverage and brightens the skin's radiance for a creaseless finish that lasts all day. So the first word that really caught my attention is creaseless, of course, because I'd like for my concealers to be creaseless, and that seems to be a problem with a lot of concealers that I try out. That's why I don't really like a lot, just because they crease on me right away. Um, um, and this is what the packaging looks like. When I pulled this out the box, yesterday I'm like wow this is small compared to like um, Givenchy new concealer the Dior concealer this is kind of tiny I feel like this wouldn't last a long time especially if you're somebody who use like every day or just quite often I feel like you will run through this within a month or two I don't know just depends on how much concealer you put on I did order mine from the Valentino website this is not available yet at Sephora and also when you do order from the Valentino website they will send you this little pouch for free so I mean you can order it there and get you a pouch or you can wait until it, um, it comes available at Sephora and this concealer I picked up the shade DN1 a lot of the other shades um, I felt like would be very close to my complexion so I wanted to go just a tad bit lighter with this concealer I looked at DN2 and it was another shade I can't really remember. So I'm gonna just go in and apply the concealer, then blend it out, and then I'll go from there. I already have foundation on, and if anybody's wondering, I do have the um, Very Valentino foundation on today, and I have the shade DA3. So that's what the applicator looks like. This is what it looks like. See, this looks small to me, like, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna apply it to one eye, blend it out, and let it sit, and then I'll move on to the other eye. Hey right, y'all, so this is what the concealer looks like blended out. This is a concealer that really melts into the skin. I don't feel like it's all that creamy. To me, it feels more on the dry side than um, creamy, but I didn't have a hard time blending it out, as you see, and it um, melted right into my skin. I feel like this was the perfect shade. It's not too close to my actual complexion, and it's also not too bright. So I'm gonna go in and apply it to the other eye and just let this sit. Hopefully, it really is creaseless. go in with some powder to set it and I'm using the Givenchy prism powder the coverage I would describe this as light to medium I don't have like dark circles or dark under eyes but I still can see like some of my skin peeking through right here in the inner corner and I don't go in with a lot of concealer so I'm not going to put more on so I ain't be a concealer that you could build up I don't know but I feel like if you have a lot of dark circles you might have to go in with a lot of this I don't know for sure like it depends on how dark your circles are I don't know but again to me this is more light to medium I feel it's definitely not medium to full. I'm getting like medium coverage with this. All right, y'all, I'm back with the concealer on. So far, so good. It has increased. I look very flawless under the eyes, which of course y'all know that I love. Like I mentioned earlier, I feel like the coverage on this is very light. If you have a lot of dark circles, you might have to go in with much more concealer than I used. But other than that, I do like the way that it looks. Um, it hasn't increased yet, so that's a good thing. So, of course, I'm going to do my normal wear test, and then I'll be back, and I'll go into more details about what I think about the concealer. I do feel like there should be more than 22 shades. From what I remember, I think a lot of the shades are like... Um, neutral undertone or i think it was like rosy undertone i don't know i can't remember but i know i was looking for a few shades that would have like a golden undertone and i don't remember seeing any um shades with golden undertone and a lot of the deep 
medium deep shades I felt like look very similar so I feel like as of right now they should really work on the shade range um, with the concealers and that, I do like it so um, yeah I'll see y'all in a few I'm back after having this concealer on for nine hours. Um, some creasing has definitely started to happen. I feel like that's not bad, especially after having a concealer on for nine hours. Uh, I could pretty much work with that. Now, if this started creasing on me within like the first hour or first two hours, then most likely I wouldn't try it again. Just because I automatically know that if something creases on me right away, it is not going to work. So this one I would say is pretty long wearing. Um, this is not the most full coverage. I think I mentioned that earlier. This is not even medium coverage. You possibly could build it up depending on how much dark circles you have. I just don't feel like this is medium coverage. You might have to go in with a lot. Um, as we saw earlier, this melts right into the skin. It is very easy to blend. Now, I don't feel like this is the most creamy concealer. I feel like this is more on the dry side. I would describe this more as dry than creamy. I think I might have mentioned that earlier one complaint i feel like the size of this is very small in comparison to other luxury brands that just release concealer now look at the size of this in comparison to the Givenchy concealer like that's a big difference also look at it um next to the dior skin correct concealer i feel like they should have gave us more concealer in this. Instead of being stingy just as much as the Givenchy and the um, Dior concealer. I believe these both are about like $38, $40 and this is $35. So it's not like it's that much cheaper. But still, you could have given us a little bit more um, for the amount of money that you Now, pay. don't get me wrong. I feel like $35 is not a lot for a luxury concealer. But in this case, it is a lot if I'm getting just this little bit amount of concealer. Um, I do feel like there should be more than um, $22 shades it could at least gave us 35 40. overall i feel like it's a pretty decent concealer i do like it i like the way that it looked earlier i like how long we're i don't think like this would be the first luxury concealer that i would recommend i would easily go with the Givenchy or the dior one just because you get so much more for your money Still on one to ten what would i rate this concealer i'm actually going to give this an eight and the main reason why it gets an eight is because of the amount of concealer you get that's honestly the only reason why i'm giving it an eight now if it was the same size or closest these other two i would easily give it a 10 but no I want more concealer. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, that is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all let me know in the comment section, do you plan on picking this up? Will you pass on it? Or if you tried it out already, let me know your thoughts. And most importantly, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.